We are back on GMA, and if you're feeling a little bit lazy and maybe don't want to cook after a long weekend, Dan Pelosi is with us to help with some delicious recipes. And the best part, they take 30 minutes or less. They're from his new book, which is so great. It's called Let's Eat, 101 Recipes to Fill Your Heart and Your Home. These were so great, delicious, and user-friendly. So I'm a big fan, and I think you will be too. We also, <laughs> speaking of fans, have Sherry here as my cooking I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. Yeah, I see you already have your, you're yes. ready so to go. Fan. You have the hard part. To, yes. She has super uh, fan privilege. Totally. <laughs> um, we are making something that you can make with leftover pasta. It's kind of genius. Yes, there's nothing lazier than a leftover. Mm -hmm. And uh, should you have leftover pasta, this is the way to go. We're just going to scramble. Everybody. It's a frittata. We're just going to scramble up six eggs. We've got a cup of leftover pasta, any sauce, any shape, whatever leftovers you have. I'm going to add some salt, some pepper, some Parmesan. Go for all it. That. Yeah. Little all chili of flakes. It. Yeah. And then we're just going to toss it over the pasta and we're going to pop it in the broiler after it sets on the stovetop for a few minutes. Okay, so it's a two-stop cooking process. Yes, yeah, super easy and it's gorgeous. And you could actually add you could add a little bit of broccoli or something yes. but, but look based on it's your delicious. Yeah. Is it delicious? I, I can you tell. Love it. Yeah. All Any right. leftovers can go in this. It's perfect. I love it. Great simple idea. That is what we need as we gorgeous. move into fall. This one as well. Enjoy yes. those summer tomatoes everybody. They are so delicious. Mm. A little bit of basil or basil. Yeah. I was with my friend this weekend and she says basil. So now suddenly I'm very fancy. Um, tomatoes, basil, <laughs> yes, this toast. Is, this is marinated tomato toast. So yeah. this is going to take tomato is that girl why summer. Those tomatoes taste so good. Yes, they're marinated. There's no bad tomato in my family. No. So we make a, a okay tomato, amazing by marinating it in olive oil, some grated garlic, and some lemon juice. And then we take some burrata. Oh we break it over over some toast. And then we're going to pop a couple marinated tomatoes Important on top. Important question, yes. because we have to respect the tomato. Yes, um, How Always. long marinate? Well, at least 15 minutes at room temp, if not, um, you know, an hour or so. We've got a little balsamic on top. Yeah. Delicious. Do you like balsamic, Sherry? I love it. I you love do? It. Yeah, so it's if you, I don't know if you can. You can put that plate down okay, and dig absolutely. in. Yes. Let us know your we're thoughts on gonna... the marinated okay. tomatoes when you get to it. Okay, well, we Sherry, can you're can making the next go one. Back to. Oh, I Are am. you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Oh, this one's so good. This is like a deconstructed we're putting tiramisu. You to work. Okay. Yeah, this is my tiramisu affogato. It's a combo oh, of my two favorite it. desserts. So we're going to take some whipped cream okay. and I put some sour cream in there to make it mm -hmm. extra tangy. Okay. It also stabilizes it a bit because I want you to make this ahead of time. So plop Wonderful. some in there. Okay. How much ahead we're going to get um, you, a day. You want it like cold in the fridge? We want it cold. More. And I also, okay. my gripe with tiramisu is that I don't like the soggy, um, co the the soggy cookies. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're going to take these nice and uh, crunchy, okay. add more. Do you have a cookie of choice? I usually do like a ladyfinger, okay. but really any cookie is delicious. Yeah, and a Nilla wafer works as well. Yeah, absolutely. We do a little bit of cocoa, and then Sherry, I need you to pour that shot of espresso on top, and that's absolutely. what keeps the cookies nice and crunchy. Oh, nice. Delicious. That is so easy to make, too. Gorgeous. The, the trickiest part will be the, that mixture. But that's just whipped cream. You just do it with your hand or with a mixer. But you easy. added you And added sour cream. And Two sour things. Cream. Easy okay. peasy. Nice. Shall All we right. try? Uh, yes, I'm going to try, and Sherry, I guess we want to know from you. Oh, like, right. do you have a favorite of these dishes? Yes. What's so, your abs I would think my favorite would be <laughs> the frittata. Oh the frittata? The frittata? Yes. The frittata? Yes. yes. Well, you need to get into this mm. because this is going to be a close contender. Mm. Yeah, Easiest that's dessert ever. It's delicious. Easiest dessert it is ever. Delicious. Dan, yes. we thank you. Thank Sherry, you so much. Thank I'm going to have you do, you can take a bite. I'll start this. You finish it. You're going to okay, bring it home sure for me, will. okay? I sure will. So, we need you guys, if you're interested in any of these recipes, you scan the QR code that's right there on your screen or you can go to our website. Good MorningAmerica.com and Dan's cookbook is out when? Today. Today. Yeah. It's out today. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.